All right, so in this lesson, we're going to set the scale of the character. So we're going to go to C plugin, scale master, and set the units first. You, have be, you can choose between millimeters and centimeters, but I hardly recommend you to work always with centimeters. It's just going to be your life easier later on. The next step, we're going to create a bonding box. Why a bonding box? So the reason why is because with the bonding box, we are going to set the length and also the size of the character or the sculpt itself. So as, a, as you know, I'm going to make sure that my, my surfer is going to be 20 centimeters on the length. So I'm just going to set that by setting the bonding box. So what I'm going to do right now is just create this, the bonding box as a container. So it's going to contain all the volume from the 3D print. Uh, so by that, I just use the gizmo and the scale tool and try to make sure that you orbit around. So all the, all the print itself or the sculpt itself is containing within. Okay. So I'm just lucky enough that actually just fit perfectly. So right now it looks like everything is inside of the bonding box. So everything just looks all right. So let's just go ahead and name it just to make sure that we have organized. So the next step is just setting this, the 20 centimeters on the length and then just double checking that everything just looks fine. I just try to, before clicking the button, sometimes I just kind of try to double check. Everything seems fine. See plugin and then just start the full operation. So the operation is going to take some time. Um, right now we have already all of our sub tools scaled up to 20 centimeters and it's working just fine. So the next stage is just double checking that the length is just fine. And by that you can just use the transpose tool. So if you set the transpose tool just by deactivating the gizmo, you can just double check the length. And if you see on your upper left corner, you will be able to see the length in centimeters. Mm -hmm. 